Well, it's been 37 years since the very first Earth Day. At that time, rivers were burning. There were all kinds of environmental problems in this country. Congress responded with some good environmental laws in the early 70s, particularly the Federal Clean Water Act. That's a law we at Riverkeeper use every day to make sure that we're cleaning up this river and we're making improvements for communities and for people who need the water for so many purposes. The Upper Chattahoochee Riverkeeper really is the voice for the people for this river. We give a voice to the Chattahoochee for so many different reasons, because it is a drinking water supply, provides recreation, and we do this through monitoring the river. We do research projects, cleanups, we go to the legislature and lobby, and if things are really bad, we'll sue people. Unfortunately, there are folks who don't treat this river well, and we've had to take suits to court, and we've won. We're very focused on what's happening in the watershed, the changes to the land use. Every day, 28 acres of rooftops, paving, and other hard surfaces are built in this watershed. And every day, 54 acres of trees disappear. And what that's doing is it's changing the land onto which the rain falls. And it's coming into the river quicker, hotter water, contaminated from running across pavements and it's changing the river in ways that aren't good for the ecology and it's not good for the people who need this river system. We're high up in the river basin where streams and rivers and lakes are very small and we have to be very careful about how we use the water and we take it for granted because it's so cheap. It's very inexpensive and yet it is the lifeblood that sustains every one of us and all the important critters and wildlife that are, are in this ecosystem. So we need to understand that it's a precious resource. We need to treat it well, we need to use it efficiently, and we need to do that because we need to also leave water in these rivers and lakes, even as we grow, so that they will be here for future generations. My greatest hope is that everybody becomes a river keeper, that everybody learns about the water that flows through their neighborhoods, where the river is that is so important to them, or perhaps groundwater, and that people become good stewards and understand that it's what they do in their yards, it's how they handle their lifestyles, it's all of those things that can affect the water that is so critical to every single one of us.